No matter the type of person you are, chances are you've probably had a performance before. Whether it's your first grade pre-quarter experience or that orchestra concert, we've all been up on a stage and seen the entire audience in awe. Here at Arcadia High School, we've seen students perform in all sorts of theater productions and dance recitals. However, unlike other schools who hold these events in gyms and multi-purpose rooms, Arcadia is a bit more unique. Oh, what are you doing here, Evelyn? I'm here at the PAC celebrating a 10-year anniversary. Really? Me too. I'm Ashley Chen. And I'm Evelyn Soy. Here at the Performing Arts Center. We're currently reporting for AUSD Today. And today, we'll be diving into the PAC's 10-year history and also analyzing the impact it's had on the Arcadia community. The PAC, or Performing Arts Center, is Arcadia High School's state-of-the-art facility, used as a space to host a wide variety of performances and shows. Built in 2012, Arcadia citizens voted on Bond Measure I to initiate the construction of the facility. Prior to the PAC, many of Arcadia's performing arts groups had to hold performances in small locations, often off-campus. Now, consisting of a main building, the Black Box Theater, a music room, and a dance studio, the pack comes in at a hefty cost of $10 million. Keith DeLuca, head of the pack, explains his role in managing the facility. My role is technical director, and I oversee pretty much anything that happens in the building and provide all of the technical needs to make it happen. Because of course, this building has no windows, so we have to provide all the light and then as it being so huge, we have to provide amplification for all the audio and video. So I coordinate all that. And then also on top of it, I teach uh, stagecraft and advanced stagecraft. DeLuca works alongside three other teachers to run Arcadia Stage. Steven Volpe manages the lighting and props for the pack. Mo Martin Tyler runs stage management, design, and production. Angela Eads manages the final part of Arcadia Stage design and costume. We kind of rotate the students through so they get a little taste of everything and then they work on shows and start designing and building for specific shows and then when they get to the advanced class they kind of pick a different area that they want to go into and then dive deep into it and eventually when they get good enough we hire them and then they run the rental shows. The Performing Arts Center has served students beyond those involved in Arcadia Stage. The PAC serves as an elevated performing space for a variety of groups, like Arcadia High School's Advanced Theater Program, rock bands, elementary and high school choirs, Arcadia orchestras, and the Arcadia High Dance Department. Liza Tedford, instructor of beginning and intermediate dance, as well as the orchestra's dance company, explains how monumental having a space like the PAC is to her dancers. It's commensurate to what we're able to do. Um, we're really able to showcase the students in a way that the audience can really see it. They have a much more space to create and do their choreography and to really um, tell the story and be um, storytellers with their, with their bodies. Arcadia High School's choir director, Connie Tu, further explains how the choral program utilizes the PAC's wide facilities for their annual Choir Night Cafe performance. We use the actual stage, which is um, typically where all the performance group perform at. Um, but at the same time, we also utilize the lobby area as kind of like a relaxing jazz cafe place. So that's um, where I transformed that lobby space to be at. The pack is extensive not only in its impact on students in performing arts, but also in its size, covering an entire 39,823 square feet. So. Let's take a tour of the entire facility itself. The main performing arts center, where almost all the shows are held, contains a wide primary stage for students to perform. Additionally, with a total of 1,200 seats in the house and balcony section, audience members can enjoy performances from various perspectives. Stephen Volpe, theater teacher and director at Arcadia High, spoke about the assets of the pack. I was actually in the small theater, the or the little theater we called it, for seven years prior, and that was a very, very different experience because we can only have about 250 people a night. So we had five runs and we only really saw a thousand people. And so it was a really interesting experience when we moved into the theater because we 
we're able now to see a thousand people in one night. With every production comes a spotlight to highlight the artists on the stage. These are navigated on the catwalk, a platform located 32 feet above the stage. Backstage contains a scene shop where all the tools, machinery, and equipment are located for stagecraft students to create all the sets and props seen at every production. Just across the hall from the main center is the orchestra room where students are hard at work either in class or during rehearsals. We spoke to Pin Chen about the opportunities that this space has given her and her students. So fortunate to have a beautiful, decently large um, orchestra room for our orchestra program. That makes a huge difference. We used to have to um, cram into a tiny little room where you can't, you know, even bow all the way through. Um, so it's not just for aesthetic purposes. We can actually do what we need to do instructionally and, you know, have enough storage space and, you know, places for students to practice, like they're practicing right now <laughs> in the back. Um, and then, of course, um, you know, a world class facility for our students to be able to perform in and showcase all of their hard work. In addition to the vast inside space, a packed courtyard was also constructed as a gathering space for not only performers but everybody at Arcadia High. Students can be found in this courtyard engaging in various activities, enjoying their lunches, or simply hanging out. From the courtyard, the entrance to the dance studio can be found. With ballet, berets, and mirrors lining the walls, this studio has given dance and orchestra students a spacious area to learn routines and rehearse for shows. A connecting hallway from the dance studio leads to the Black Box Theater. Not only does this unique space serve as a classroom to the beginning, intermediate, and advanced theater classes, but it is also home to various theatrical productions. Beginning Theater's Winterfest, Detail Showcases, and Intermediate Theater's Spring Productions. Arcadia Stage President Katie Sirianni explains the significance of the pack to each of the performing arts groups. I would say just because it has a home for everyone, and it has so many events with so many seats that the community can come in and watch, and we're very blessed to have a vicinity like this, be able to put on such amazing productions because of all the help that we get in here and all the teams that we have like sound and audio and designers and all those things. So yeah, I'm very grateful. The opportunity to perform in the pack isn't limited solely to high schoolers. Gabriel Meyer Yen, current senior at Arcadia High, reflects back to a choir performance in the pack he'd been a part of as an elementary schooler. So I remember in third grade we performed Singing in the Rain and I remember it, it was really memorable because one of my friends had a pie with whipped cream in it and he like shoved it right in my face in front of the entire audience. And I remember thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna be such a good actor when I grow up. Lastly entails a broad lobby that welcomes all guests into each performance. Windows surround the room to set the mood with vast amounts of space to gather attendees and hold concession stands. In addition, the staircase and elevator leading to a second floor serves as an additional entryway into the PAC's balcony seating area. On the 10 year anniversary of the PAC, we asked performing arts staff members what their favorite performance in the facility has been. So we've been able to play with uh, Daniel Ho, who is um, a Grammy Award winning musician. Um, and he had our students, um, you know, play along with his set, which is really cool. Um, and one of our students actually continues to play with him. It happened last year in the fall. and. Um, I remember the excitement from all the staff, all the students, and myself as well, um, not being able to be on stage and with a live audience for a very, very long My time. My favorite so. like, rock and roll show that we did here was Air Supply. And a lot of that was because the band was super cool, their management was super cool, and then the audience was fantastic. So there's not a specific thing that's my favorite. My favorite thing is being able to leave a piece knowing that we've all grown from it, whether it is performers, technicians, or audience members. The pack has already seen an incredible decade of performances and shows. The next decade will only prove to bring further excellence. This has been Evelyn Soy and Ashley Chen reporting for AUSD Today.